Welcome back. Well, the Australian Rugby League has controversially decided not to play the Australian National Anthem at the All-Stars match on the Gold Coast later this month. A year after Indigenous players refused to sing Advance Australia Fair, the Commission released this statement saying the All-Stars game was created as a celebration of Indigenous players and their culture. We've listened to our players' concerns that the words of the anthem do not represent them or their families and does not include an acknowledgement of First Nations people. Our Masters of Spin are here to discuss this. Advertising and marketing experts, gurus, Adam Ferrier and Matthew Bywater. Good morning to you both. Lovely to see you. Adam, we'll start with you. What do you think? Is this a smart decision by the ARL or does it put rugby league in a difficult position? I think this is absolutely fantastic. These guys are both unpredictable and inclusive. That's what sums up their brand, and that's what this move's all about. It also is, is kind of, it's, a, it's a big move for them. It's also just screams inclusivity. Um, and it also kind of transcends marketing. It's about respect and respect for the people playing the game and respect for the community around the game. So good on them. It's just brilliant. Well said. Matthew, is the Australian Rugby League here, do you think, uh, becoming a trailblazer for other sports? Yeah, absolutely. And, and this is a good sign. I like the way they've included the players in the, in the direction of the game. That's a good move. And the, I guess the dangerous point from now is to actually include their fans, their, stake, their real stakeholders, the people who actually pay the wages of everyone in the game, is to get, bring those people along for the journey as well. But this is a good first step. And the ARL have, have been extraordinary, really. I mean, they, they brought out Macklemore and he sung Same Love, and that was seen to be this real turning point yeah. um, with the same-sex marriage bill going through. So ex really extraordinary Really taking stuff. a position. Yeah, by the ARL. You can see, you can see a pattern of behaviour there of yeah. inclusivity and respect. It's fantastic. Yeah, extraordinary. All right. Well, advertising is under attack, sorry, fellas, with advertisements <laughs> at bus shelters across Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne being hijacked. Now, the ads are being replaced with political posters that protest against the government's handling of the bushfire crisis. Now, the people behind it say that they put up 78 posters last week calling it bushfire brandalism. Adam, brandalism is an anti-advertising movement that began in London in 2012. Uh, are you worried about this at all as an advertising exec? I love it. Right. I, grew up in, <laughs> I grew up in the 80s when Bugger Up were, were spray painting over all this uh, cigarette advertising and got that banned. And I think ha people having a voice and expressing their opinions on this stuff is great. And I think advertising space, there's so much of it, there's enough to go around to get your message across. Keep it up. Yeah. It's a good message. Uh, are you aware of other instances of advertising perhaps coming under attack or did this seem uh, at this stage at least to be isolated? Yeah, no, it happened again about, I think, 2015 in Paris. About 600 billboards were actually uh, were done over exactly like this. That was more an anti-authoritarian, anti-political, climate change activist sort of, uh, sort of a take there. But, yeah, it's happened before and I think it's going to happen a lot more again. Yes, indeed. All right. Um, now, Adam, I want to ask you about this book that you've written about brands doing the right thing for themselves and not their customers. There it is. <laughs> yeah, well, hope, there, there it is. So thank you so for the opportunity. So if you wondered what it looks like, there it is. <laughs> You're an advertising man. This is your, ch this out, is your opportunity, this of course. Just, just having to have one here. Uh, it's just about <laughs> stop listening to the customer. Try hearing your brand instead. There's so much information out there from customers. It's so easy to stay in touch with them. They've got an opinion on everything. And for brands these days, it can be kind of hard hearing all about noise. So they just have to understand what their brand stands for at the very heart and kind of stay true to that as much as possible. Sometimes customers want to take the rough, rough edges off brands. Mm. That's exactly the thing that makes them kind of different or interesting. Yeah, right. It's sort so, of what the ARL is doing. It's a good point. Mm. Exactly. Uh, just just quickly, uh, gentlemen, before we go, uh, America's National Basketball Association, under a little pressure to change its logo, this is, of course, following the death of legendary player Kobe Bryant. Current logo is about 50 years old, features the silhouette of basketball legend Jerry West. There's a petition to change it. What do you think? I like the idea. I think it's a great move if they, if they can do it. And there's a great story here because Jerry West, the guy in the original NBA logo, he's actually a, 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 was a close friend, confidant and, and mentor to Kobe Bryant. He's all for this move. So they've got an opportunity to make this transition and bring everybody along for the ride. Yeah, it's yeah. interesting. That's sort of what you've been talking about too, Adam. Uh, sort of. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm on the fence on this. I think the NBA should be, you know, the only reason why people really care is because the brand's been managed so well to this mm. point in time. Mm. Uh, if they do it, I'm not entirely sure. All right. Well, we're, um, we're going to be busy at 10 o'clock because we're going out to buy the book now. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> Good on you, mate. <laughs> Very much. It was Good lovely, lovely to talk to you both. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Adam. Okay.